The Iranian military has long planned for a defensive naval war in the Persian Gulf, in which it would leverage its large fleet of fast attack boats toting anti-ship missiles to launch swarming hit-and-run attacks on adversaries in along Persian Gulf, with the ultimate goal of shutting down passage through the Straits of Hormuz. Supporting this naval guerrilla warfare strategy are 21 indigenously produced Gatter class mini submarines, derived from the North Korean Yono class. The 120 ton vessels can poke around at 11 knots, 13 miles per hour, and each carry two 533 mm torpedoes. All in all, shallow littoral waters are very favorable for mini submarine operations, with interference from rocky shallows and loud surf reducing sonar detection ranges and giving mini submarines abundant opportunities to hide and wait in ambush. On the high end of the capability spectrum, Iran operates three much larger and more capable Kilo class diesel electric submarines purchased from Russia in the 1990s. These can comfortably hunt in the waters of the Indian Ocean. Four years ago, Iran also launched its own domestically built Fata class submarine. The homemade vessel may lack modern features such as anti ship missiles or quiet air independent propulsion system, but it does seem to be the genuine article, not something one should take for granted with reports of new Iranian weapons. Why would Iran invest considerable sums in building its own submarines instead of shelling out for off the shelf hardware in Russia or China? The reason is doubtlessly related to Tehran's jarring education and how shifting international alliances can throw defense planning askew. Prior to the Iranian Revolution, the government of the Shah was lavished with large quantities of top-shelf U.S. weapons, which became rather difficult to maintain after that one little incident in the 1979 involving the American embassy. When Iraq invaded Iran in 1980, Tehran found itself on the outs with both America and the Soviet Union and turned to the Chinese for arms, as well as backdoor dealings with Reagan administration officials. This tumultuous history has created a tremendous impetus for military self-sufficiency in Iran, even if the results in the short term are nothing special compared to extant foreign weapon systems. The semi-heavy Fatah, Conqueror, measures between 40 and 48 meters long and is claimed to displace about 600 tons submerged, putting it in a similar weight class as the small German Type 205 and 206 coastal defense submarines launched in the 1960s and 70s. It appears to be an elongated version of the Iranian-built Nahang, an unarmed prototype that may currently be serving as a special operations submarine. Fata has four bow torpedo tubes with likely access to six to eight reloads, with a circular sonar array situated under the tubes. Fata can operate up to 200 meters below the surface, more than adequate for the shallow waters of the Persian Gulf. Sources variously place its maximum speed, while submerged at between 14 and 23 knots, 16 to 26 miles per hour, with the lower estimate seeming more likely. The FARS news agency claims that FATA can also operate up to five weeks at sea at a range of up to 3,100 miles, giving it the endurance to venture further afield into the Arabian Sea. However, it's less clear how long the diesel-electric submarine can sustainably swim underwater without surfacing or snorkeling to recharge batteries. Despite being launched from the Bastanu shipyards in 2013, FATA still appears to be undergoing sea trials and has yet to be declared fully operational. James claimed a second FATA class submarine was spotted in satellite photos under construction at the Bandar Anzali naval base on the Caspian Sea, but its current status is unknown. 
Also nebulous are Terran's plans to produce two 60-meter-long Besseter Keen-class submarines displacing 1,200 to 1,300 tons, armed with six torpedo tubes. Other claimed specifications include a 300-meter diving depth and a maximum speed of 23 miles per hour. This new design was announced in 2008 and was to enter service in 2015. A distinct lack of follow-up reports or imagery since that announcement give the impression the project has either been abandoned or is beset by major delays. However, an Office of Naval Intelligence report published in March 2017 treats the Besset class seriously and claims it will enter service with the Iranian Navy with the capability of firing submarine-launched cruise missiles in the next five years. Theoretically, such weapons would significantly increase the striking range of Tehran's submarine fleet. However, such technology might prove difficult for Iran to develop independently. A weapon that may be closer to entering service is the Hoot Whale supercavitating torpedo, which reportedly can attain speeds of over 200 miles per hour, around four times faster than a typical modern torpedo. This is achieved by using rocket exhaust heat to vaporize water in the path of the torpedo, allowing it travel in a gas bubble with minimal drag resistance. The first hoot tests were broadcast on Iranian TV back in 2006, and the weapon reportedly underwent new trials in 2015 and May 2017, though the outcome of those tests is unknown. Defense analysts believe the Hoot to be reverse-engineered from the Russian Shval torpedo. Though the new Iranian boats may remain far from the cutting edge of submarine design, they could still prove dangerous adversaries in the confined and shallow waters of the Persian Gulf. More importantly, the ongoing effort to domestically produce larger and more capable submarines and submarine-deployed weapons provides more evidence that Tehran is investing long-term efforts into becoming a self-sufficient military power.